Now, there's no doubt the full-size Range Rover is one of the best SUVs in the world. But does this smaller, cheaper sport model do the Range Rover badge justice? Well, despite its name, this isn't a particularly sporty car to drive. OK, it's not as unwieldy as a regular Range Rover. But on a winding road like the one we're on now, it feels, well, like you might expect a big 4x4 to feel fairly big and cumbersome. If you're looking for an SUV that seems to defy the laws of physics, you're better off looking at a Porsche Cayenne. But if you're more interested in wafting around in comfort, there's plenty to like here. Even on the optional 21-inch alloys fitted to this car, the ride is really smooth, and it gets even better on the motorway, where the Range Rover lopes along relaxingly. If you aren't bothered about spending a lot of your time and money at petrol stations, there is a V8 petrol version, but a much more sensible choice is this SD V6 diesel. There are certainly more powerful diesel SUVs available for this sort of money, but few are as smooth or quiet. Fuel economy is by no means awful either. Officially, you should get around 38 mpg. There's more good news when it comes to the driving position, because the seats are comfortable, the steering wheel lines up nicely with the pedals, and because you sit so high up, you get a great view of the road ahead. Now, the Range Rover Sport is fairly pricey compared with other large SUVs, but sitting here, you really feel as though you're getting your money's worth. Not only does the cabin look really smart, all the bits you touch regularly feel really classy as well. The one disappointment is this touchscreen, which has a rather confusing menu layout and sometimes takes a while to respond when you press it. Now, there isn't quite as much space in the back as there is in some big SUVs, but I'm six feet tall and I'd happily sit here on a long journey, especially if the owner had been kind enough to spec this optional rear seat entertainment package. Come around to the boot and not only will you find lots of space, you'll also see there's no lip to get in the way of lifting heavy items in and out. And if you need even more room, these rear seats fold individually and they lock in place to leave a virtually flat load bay. Now, if you're wondering what these two dents in the roof lining are all about, well, they're there because there is an option of a third row of seats, meaning you can carry up to seven people. So, while the Range Rover Sport is unquestionably a fashion accessory, it's much more than that too. In fact, all things considered, it's one of the very best big SUVs. For lots more information, search Range Rover Sport on whatcar.com. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave your comments below.